to support Charlottesville riot victims. Yesterday, the tensions between right-wing demonstrators and leftist hate groups came to deadly blows. The much-anticipated Unite the Right rally was held in the downtown area of Charlottesville, Virginia, and of course, it was met with serious opposition. The right-wing demonstrators were there to protest the proposed removal of the Robert E. Lee statue in the square, and the left was there to cause trouble. Antifa and Black Lives Matter descended onto the protest which only made tempers flare. The situation between all the groups quickly escalated which eventually led to a vehicle plowing through the protesters that killed three people. Shortly after the attack, President Trump condemned the violent clashes and the car ramming incident in Charlottesville, Virginia, saying that the division must stop. Echoing the same sentiment Ivka Trump took to Twitter to condemn white supremacy and the violent actions that happened on Saturday. There should be no place in society for racism white supremacy and neo-Nazis, Ivka wrote. We must all come together as Americans, and be one country united. Hash Charlottesville. The message was shared and liked thousands of times, but of course, the left had something to say about it. Instead of these leftist lunatics taking this time to pause and reflect on their own actions of hate, they chose to attack. Then to add more gasoline to the already blazing fire, Rosie O'Donnell added this attack to Ivanka and President Trump. To which Twitchy responded. People like Charlie don't get it, that there are two sides here at war and normal, saying people are in the middle watching it happen, the white nationalists weren't fighting themselves. Of course, it is easy for the left to condemn these actions, but they keep silent over the violent actions of groups like Antifa and Black Lives Matter over the last several months. Who could forget last summer when Black Lives Matter declared war on police officers that lead to many senseless deaths? Or, the violent acts of Antifa over the last several months on college campuses and conservative rallies? So, that begs the question of what will happen now? Well, sadly there most likely there will be more violence against conservatives in the name of retaliation for this attack in Virginia. However, it is safe to assume that though those acts of violence will be most likely be prosecuted by Attorney General Jeff Sessions. The reason why is simple, Sessions has opened a federal case in this vehicular rampage so that justice will be served. Fox News reported. U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions issued a statement Saturday night to announce the probe. The Richmond FBI Field Office, the Civil Rights Division and the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Western District of Virginia have opened a civil rights investigation into the circumstances of the deadly vehicular incident that occurred earlier Saturday morning, Sessions said in the statement. The FBI will collect all available facts and evidence, and as this is an ongoing investigation we are not able to comment further at this time. James Alex Fields Jr., 20, of Ohio, has been arrested in connection with the fatal crash, authorities said. The rally was organized by right-wing blogger Jason Kessler, who wanted to protest Charlottesville's decision to remove a statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee from Emancipation Park. The event quickly turned chaotic, as white nationalists clashed with counter-protesters and police. Sessions condemned the violence. When such actions arise from racial bigotry and hatred, they betray our core values and cannot be tolerated, the Attorney General said. I have talked with FBI Director Chris Ray, FBI agents on the scene, and law enforcement officials for the state of Virginia. The FBI has been supporting state and local authorities throughout the day, Sessions said. U.S. Attorney Rick Mountcastle has commenced a federal investigation and will have the full support of the Department of Justice. Justice will prevail. Earlier Saturday, U.S. Senator Ted Cruz, Republican Texas, had called upon the Justice Department to launch a probe. Having watched the horrifying video of the car deliberately crashing into a crowd of protesters, I urge the Department of Justice to immediately investigate and prosecute this grotesque act of domestic terrorism, Cruz said in a statement. This act of violence was disgusting and in no way reflects the beliefs of the majority of conservatives and Trump supporters. Though the left in their own hatred cannot see that and will simply blame conservatives and call us all racists and bigots. The left does not see the irony in their argument and won't since they are blinded with hate. 
No matter what President Trump does or say they will always lose their minds and call him a racist. Which is why they attack Tyga Trump the moment she condemns this actions and taking father's side. It will take years for this sort of entitlement and anger to subside, but till then it will be a violent and bumpy ride. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. comments.